Hello friends, I hope you are all doing very well. Imagine you are searching for a home and have shortlisted two properties, one in a quiet crescent with minimal traffic and the other one backing onto a busy four series highway. Let us discuss how surrounding highway noises impacts your real estate asset, your livability and its growth. Noise aspect of a home is often overlooked. Buying a home is an emotional decision and we as buyers tend to get invested in the properties, updates, its interiors, the floor plans, newer appliances and the quality of the municipality. However, we often tend to overlook this aspect of an asset. The location of a property is by far the most important aspect in real estate. When I say location, I am referring both to the suburb where the property is located and also to the lot outlook of the property, meaning where exactly the lot is situated and how it presents itself. The unit for measuring sound is decibels, in short dB. A whisper or faint noise is 30 decibels, a conversation is rated at 60 decibels and a bike engine running is 95 decibels. City traffic when you are inside a car is around 80 to 85 decibels. Sounds below 70 dB are considered safe for hearing. Highway traffic noise 50 feet from the highway ranges from 80 to 90 dB and it progressively reduces the farther you are from the highway. The noise pollution could be from a busy highway abutting the property, traffic on a busy arterial road in front or on behind the property, a railway track in close proximity with a relatively busier train schedule, or a property near an airport in a low-flying low zone. When as a buyer we overlook such noise sources and suppose we end up owning the property near a highway and living there, our brain and ears get used to the constant humming noise of the highway over time. It becomes second nature to you. However, that doesn't mean that future prospective buyers will be able to ignore the noise attributes. The majority of them will take a notice. In my experience, I have noticed if property is at least 150 to 200 feet away from the highway, it becomes manageable and inside the house it is negligible. When it is less than 100 feet, it becomes more pronounced. As a buyer, you need to weigh your options and make a very informed decision. Studies and data have shown that properties adjacent to a busy highway location and areas where noise pollution is more than usual take more days on the market to sell. Further, these properties often sell at a relatively lower price and have saturated demand. In times when the market is unexpectedly hot and seller driven, everything will sell, including noise affected properties. However, when the market is saturated or more buyer inclined, it would not be such a smooth ride. Consumers generally prefer a quieter and more peaceful environment, which is understandably so. Those interior courts and circles are more sought after by the buyer community. Selling a home affected by noise pollution requires you as a seller to highlight the other strong points of the neighborhood and location to overpower this deficiency. It might also mean that the property needs a pricing adjustment and fine tuning if the property stands on the market for a longer duration. If you are in a house close to highways and such, there are ways to insulate yourself from the noise. You can install soundproof windows, add thick insulation or use dense shrubs and trees which will act as a natural sound barrier. Heavy Thick curtains also help block the sound and provide insulation. Municipalities often put up sound walls to separate residential subdivisions from the highway borders. Weather stripping can enhance window seals and effectively isolate the house from the noise. So when you are in the process of reviewing and screening properties for purchase, try to think beyond the curb appeal and interior layout and features of the property. Listen to the noise levels when you approach the property and are out there for your in-person review. The best way I advise my clients to do this is to look at the address you are considering on Google 
and then zoom out pan out as soon as you do that you will see the complete topography of the lot the property you can easily make out the major elements surrounding the lot it is the best way to review and know a lot about the location commute community parks schools trails malls etc all of what is present in the neighborhood immediately you will see and if you are a seller you should try to focus on and highlight the other best elements the property has to offer include those in your marketing material that extra push and preparation are needed to create the unique selling point for your property being transparent and cognizant of such attributes and highlighting other strengths and updates in your property will put you in a driving and commanding position i hope this was helpful and if you are looking for the best help in real estate in the greater toronto area reach out to our dedicated team here at elixir and experience the difference for yourself take good care and talk to you soon